So first working set, 225 for 12 reps. And between my heavy sets, I always do this little rotator cuff stretch. So I got 40 pound resistance bands and I hold them pretty close. Just pull them apart. Keeps the rotator cuff, keeps the shoulders, keeps the chest nice and loose. So getting into my first working set on the bench press. So I've been bench pressing twice per week and I'm really trying to get stronger on bench press. It's definitely my genetic weakness. My arms are super long, six foot seven wingspan. So working my way up with the goal of getting to 350 pounds by the end of the year. So I did 225 for 12 repetitions. Once in a while I'll try to max out my 225 for reps, but just getting the blood getting the blood in the chest, getting nice and loose, and now we're up to the first heavy working set of 275 pounds. So what I did today is I did four heavy sets, two rep range. So I don't recommend this rep range for hypertrophy, but I do recommend it for getting stronger. So I've got Kitty Gain spotting me now. 285 for two reps on the next set, just trying to really get stronger and power through these heavy working sets. And today's workout fueled by my go-to fat burning pre-workout, Superhuman Burn. Absolutely love this stuff. Favorite flavor is Smurf Juice. Tastes like blue gummy bears. I'll link it down in the description below. Use Troy10 for 10% off. So we're up to the next heavy working set here. As you can see, I have a fan. Um, first rep felt pretty easy. Second rep didn't feel quite easy. Uh, Kitty Gaines is literally not even paying attention while spotting me. That's fantastic. So trying to keep the shoulders nice and loose here. So I'm doing, once again, the rotator cuff stretch. I typically do this before all of my heavy working sets. I'm just really trying to prevent rotator cuff wear and tear, stay nice and loose. So this set right here is my actually my fourth heavy working set. And I believe I only do one repetition here. So probably could have done one more, but I'll do heavy bench again in two more days. So finish up the heavy sets, really struggling to get stronger on bench press. Squats almost at 405, deadlifts almost at 510, and really struggling to get to that 315, so I'm doing heavy sets of two to three reps. Um, so 225 for 12 reps at the start and end, and then four to five heavy working sets in between. Just like two to three rep range, it's not really gonna help you build muscle, but it's a really good rep range for getting stronger, so finish strong here. So this is my finisher set. So I started the bench press workout for 225, 12 reps, and I'm gonna end doing the exact same thing. So once again, this is better for hypertrophy. You're gonna build your chest a lot better doing 12 rep range. So just trying to get in two good hypertrophy sets in tandem with my four uh, heavy sets, and once again, I will let you guys know my progress on the bench press, but really trying to get stronger each and every single week. So doing push-pull back and forth. So now we're gonna do a horizontal row with a close parallel grip. Probably my favorite grip to hit your lats. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do a super set, but I'm gonna show you guys a dumbbell variation if you don't have the T-bar row. So now we're doing a horizontal row, and the goal of this is for a wider back. It's a great lat exercise, so hands are facing each other, a parallel grip, somewhat close, and this is my preferred grip. Now, in all my back workouts, I wanna do a horizontal pull movement, and I wanna do a vertical pull movement. So this is a horizontal pull movement, and then I'm actually doing a superset. So I'm doing a dumbbell row superset, basically mimicking that same range of motion here, and this is a great superset. I actually had a crazy lat pump after just the very first set. So get a nice full stretch, keep the elbows tucked into your sides, squeeze those lats, and try to go eight to 10 reps on both portions of the superset. So I'm gonna do a upper chest superset I've never shown you guys. Incredible for really getting that upper chest definition. I know we're going heavy on bench press before. That doesn't really matter that much for aesthetics. I'm trying to get stronger on bench just for personal reasons, performance reasons. I'll be collaborating with a lot of pro athletes. So I wanna be able to put up at least like three 50 ideally, but by the end of the year on bench. So this right here though is pure aesthetics. So you guys have seen the low to high cable fly in a lot of other videos if you're a subscriber to the channel. Low to high is going to be the best range of motion for your upper chest. You have what's called the clavicular head, which is your upper chest muscle fibers. So I, get, I went low to high and then I crisscross going low to high crisscrossing 
going across the center plane of my body here. So once again, I'm really focusing on going across the center plane of my body and getting a great squeeze. So I did about 15 total reps here, and this superset is absolutely brutal. So I actually learned this upper chest exercise with uh, Charles Glass. So I put my feet against the wall, I do close grip, and it's very good for mimicking like an incline bench angle. So it's way more challenging than a normal type of push-up and you just rep out and do as many as you can until failure directly after the low to high cable fly. Yeah. 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 Oh. So I'm going to show you guys my favorite superset for widening my back using a lap pull down and a cable machine. So I'm going to go underhand close grip and then pay very close attention to what I do for the superset. So all my push pull workouts, I'll try to do two pull movements. I'll do a horizontal, like rowing pulling movement and a vertical pull. So this right here, vertical pull. So now we're up to the vertical pulling movement. Now I'm doing underhand grip, lat pull down, 12 rep range. Now notice how I'm getting a nice full stretch at the top. I'm keeping my elbows in. Don't rush this movement. You want to really focus on stretching your lats, getting a nice full stretch, and then bringing that bar down to your lower chest. So great lat pump, close grip, underhand grip, lat pull down. Absolutely love this variation. And we're going to superset this with a pull over. Now, pay very close attention to my pull over form here. So you're going to see as I walk to the pull over machine. I really emphasize getting a massive stretch in my lats. So I see this exercise done wrong almost every time I'm in the gym. So lean forward, bend down, and really focus on letting it just like carry you up and get a full stretch and then keep those elbows down to your sides and bring that bar in right to your quads. So full stretch at the top, bring that bar into your quads. In this superset right here, 10 to 12 rep range on both exercises, you're going to get an incredible lat pump. So I decided to do the finisher back at home. This is day number two of training my abs every single day. So I'm actually keeping track right here. Day number one, X marks the spot. And here's the finisher for day number two. So I'm going to show you guys my first set over here. By the way, full gym tour coming soon. And I'm going to do some little superset, so what I do here is I go knee raises for 15. It's all about the superset. I'm gonna do a high intensity interval training superset. So I'm gonna go 15 knee raises. These are much easier. Trying to improve those abs. And I can't wait to show you guys my progress after just the first week of this. This is day number two of my shred. So diet is on point and I'm gonna shred very quickly and show you guys Oh yeah, so finisher, what I'm gonna do here is some kettlebell snatch jumps. So she do this little mat. So I'm gonna go three sets here, 12 jumps. So I'm gonna go three more total circuits of that. I'm not gonna show you guys all those working sets. And then we gotta head inside, show you guys my post-workout meal. So this is my first meal of the day. I trained fasted today. We got greens and protein, my go-to post-workout spot. Now, when you're on a shred, it's all about high volume eating so you don't get really hungry and get really grouchy when you're on a diet. So you wanna eat high volume. So this is a bunch of spinach with some peanut sauce drizzle on top. A bison patty spaghetti squash, which all the spaghetti squash right here, high in fiber, only 50 total calories. And then post-workout, we got a cup of basmati rice. So this is 600 calorie meal right here. I'm eating about 2,700 total calories on my shred diet. And I'm on the Superhuman RIP program. If you guys want to follow along with me for the next 90 days, all you got to do is go to shreddedwithalife.com and sign up. It's less than a dollar a day. 
for the 12 week program and it will get you guys absolutely shredded to the bone. It's literally step for step what I'm doing during my 90 day shred on top of, of course, training my abs every single day. And if you guys wanna support the channel and you wanna speed up your gains, get the best workouts of your life, I have a special uh, gift for you guys. If you buy Superhuman pre-workout, I'm not only gonna give you 10% off, but I'm also gonna throw in a free Superhuman protein sample tub. So this is my pre-workout and my protein uh, duo right here. I do this almost every single day. Some days I'll do Superhuman burn, but this is just a great all around max dose pre-workout. And if you tap the first link down in the description below, you can get 10% off Superhuman pre-workout and a free Superhuman protein sample tub while supplies last. So these are going really fast, so make sure you tap the link right down below. Grab your free protein. So this is only day number two of abs every single day. If you missed episode one, make sure that you tap around the screen. I'll throw a link right over here. And make sure you subscribe, you tap that bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, now if your goal is to lose fat faster or you wanna gain muscle and burn fat at the same time, then Superhuman Burn is for you. It's a two-in-one fat burning pre-workout that amplifies how many calories you burn. Join the thousands of superhumans getting shredded faster with Superhuman Burn.